Hey, welcome in for a special Sunday afternoon NWO matchup between number 22 Iowa Hawkeyes and NC State Wolfpack at NC State. Here's the kickoff. And uh, NC State's going to start at their own 25. Got Jimmy Two Blunts and Nine Lou in here for the uh, afternoon matinee. What are you guys looking forward to in this one? Oh, I'm looking for a high scoring. Definitely took the over today. I don't know about you, Lou. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it all shakes out. Um, both offenses can be very dynamic. Both defenses could step up, so it's one of those stay tuned. Wait and see. This quick drop. Morris up the sidelines and it's picked off at the 40, down to the 30, 25-20, and out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Quick turnover on the first play of the game. I know all about that. And uh, Iowa has <laughs> already got the turnover chain going. They're going to be first and 10 at the 11 so they can get Avon first down, not score. Inside the one. All, and, two, uh, all two chains now. <laughs> we'll see what the Hawkeyes do here. Ricky Stanzi, number three in the uh, Heisman race. Only threw for 163 yards, but he did have two touchdowns. I believe he had another one on the ground. Yes, he did. Iowa racked up 200 yards on the ground against uh, my North Carolina team, so they can move the ball either way. And as you see, they have a tough defense, secondary ball hawks. And uh, we'll see well, what I, I, for one, am concerned about that Iowa coach's neck. He's putting that heavy. <laughs> Is his posture going to be, you know, compromised because of it, because of this? Honestly, George's so chain's probably heavier. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's all plastic. Name one of his freshman uh, bulging disc. <laughs> yeah, but, there you go. but see, I think the difference might be George doesn't have the same chicken neck. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're like the same size chain. I mean, we're way zoomed in on JPs. Oh, uh, that's funny. Ooh, a first down handoff here, and he picks up three down to the eight. It was Niall Kinnick. Got to watch him. He's got a lot of speed and a lot of shifty moves, especially down in the red zone. Offset eye here. Stanzi pitch. Kinnick trying to get to the edge, and the linebacker comes in and blows it up, push the tackle into him. Other guy cleans it up, and it's a huge loss. Give me third and 12. That lineman had the daunting task of blocking two guys. Impossible. He blocked nothing but his own running back. <laughs> <laughs> Should get an assist on that tackle. All right, first third down of the day. Wasn't what we were expecting. I thought it was going to be North Carolina State with their third down. Quick drop, Stanzi, looking, drifting back. Throws inside to five, caught, and he's going to roll over the tackler in for a touchdown. That's the speedster, Tim Dwight. I think the key to that play was the time that he had in that pocket. Shout out the old line there. Yeah, he just stood there, bounced a couple of times. He had the old JT special roll out to the left open if he wanted it. So, you know, it's hard to cover everybody, but Wolfpack got to get some pressure on that guy so he can't stand there and find somebody breaking open late. <clears throat> All right, I was... A good effort by the defense, but that's about what you'd expect after giving them a short field like that. Mm -hmm. Here comes Allen out of the middle of the end zone, cutting up the side, getting a good block, breaks one tackle, breaks another one, dragged down right at the 25, 32 yard gain. They're still going to start at the 25. So nice return by Allen. Yeah, good return. Got caught up in a little traffic, but that'll happen. Yeah, that was revamp telling me that Richardson got hurt and it might be bad. Anthony Richardson. That sucks. All right, here we go. Morris in the shotgun. Four receiver set. Dingling on the right. Rooks on the left. Pocket banana in the slot there on the left. Drops. Pressure in the middle. Steps up. Flings it to the right. Caught. Just shy of the 35. Big old dingling. Nine yard reception. It's going to be second and one. Yeah, ball had some hang time. Dingling had to come, come forward a little bit and go up and get that one just in case. Yeah, good reach by the uh... – it's kind of a freak, that dingling. <laughs> he's going to take a shot down the middle. It's going to get picked off at the 45. He gets past the 50, pushes through inside the 45 NC State. So two drives, two picks, and the ball hawking secondary continues its uh, turnover ways. JT might end up with a second chain around there. Yeah, this time it was uh, Xavier Nwankpa for the defense. Wolfpack's going to need to clean it up. Uh, 
We'll see how they attack this next time they get the ball. Yeah, they might need to have some underneath shots, some slants or ends or whatever instead of the, the deep shots. There's a shot over the middle, caught. Bostic with a catch, eight yard gain. Bring a second short down, and uh, second and two, short second and two. Yeah, as for right now, it's all hands on deck and the second and short. Out of the pistol, four receiver set. Fake handoff, Kinnick to the outside. Good blocking, gets to the edge. Inside the 25, down to the 22. 15-yard gain. That was an easy run and a first down. Yeah, it was good hat on hat blocking for Kinnick in front of him. He didn't even really need to put on the speed burst. He just wait for the guys to uh, see which way they shed the block and go the opposite way, right? Exactly. Right, knocking on the red zone again. Two and a half minutes in, they're looking to go up two scores. Back in that four receiver, a pistol set. Play clock down to six, Stanzi drops. Two pancakes in the middle on the O-line, and here's a shot, and it's going to be a touchdown. Tim Dwight again, second of the day. Middle of their uh, D-line just got their legs taken out, and he had all day to look and see who was open. I love pancakes. Hey, I had some protein ones this morning. Even the wife made Tim them. Tim Dwight's the shiny new toy. Um, mm -hmm. Real fast player. 97 speed. And we've seen him make a couple of plays already. I, I don't expect the, him to slow down, so to speak. Yeah, it looked like they were playing some sort of uh, zone. He passed him off, and there was no one over there to get to him quick enough. He just caught it and walked in. If it wasn't playing zone, then he uh, pressed him and he broke the press and he was gone. So, NC State. Behind the eight ball early. See if they can recover here without uh, getting too pass happy. Morse drops, throws, out route, or uh, stop route. Rooks gets it. Gets the first down, 14 yard gain. Moves the chains. A little curl there for you, Jimmy. Yeah, I love those. And I, he finds Rooks. Again, who was his go-to last week, I think. He got a nice few balls, so we'll see if that continues. And they spread him out, four receivers. Allen yet to carry the ball on offensive side. Been slinging it all day. Morris drops, looks, looks, pressure, throws deep down the middle. Gray catches at the 20, mm -hmm. and he's going to go all the way in for a touchdown. 61 yards, Julian Gray made the move to come back and catch the ball underneath the DB. And uh, then he was gone. So, quick when, strikes it, uh, the day. when it comes to playing corner and hitting that triangle button, Vaughn, you know this: you win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it registers, and sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, you're really mad. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> when it does, you're happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're holding the, that uh, controller up to the camera, pressing it, going, and it's broken. All right. There goes Tyree Kill. All right, barely three minutes in, <clears throat> three scores already. <laughs> this is the danger here because uh, Kinnick and Dwight can both run kickoffs back. And, of course, neither one's back there for this one. Dwight might and, still be getting oxygen from his two touchdowns. Yeah, Dwight's number six. I guess that's who it was. Yeah, I gave up one to him. What three days ago? <laughs> Doesn't need much much room. Just get a little crease and uh, gone because there's no one going to catch him. I don't think anybody has 97 speed on our kick kickoff coverage teams. No, I doubt it. All right, full house backfield. Stassi drops, throws over, caught, short game. Still picks up six. Now Kinnick, a little dump over the middle. Uh, okay, Nick's a weapon in himself. He's just real shifty, especially after the catch. Yeah, he got a lot of work last week. Um, you'll also see Caleb Johnson back there. Slot man goes in motion. Here's the handoff. Jet sweep and hmm. ran into his own running back who was going to block somebody and the alignment that was pulling, so... Big Chubb with a big TFL. Bring up a third and seven. Yeah, sometimes you're just too fast. He might have been a little too fast there. Yeah, 
Yeah, those blockers need some time to uh, to get attached to the defenders. Stanzi looking, rolling out, throws, and batted down. Mike Jones gets his hand in there, swats that down. That was a very tight coverage and a lot of congestion in that area. That was a big stop for the uh, Wolfpack defense on third down. We'll see what fourth down brings here. Exactly what they needed. All right, first punt of the day by either team. Iowa's deadly on these punts. It's going to angle that. It's not going to get out of bounds. They're going to bring it back. Feeling at the 24, and he fumbled it and dives on it at the 28-yard line. Could have had a nice return there, and he muffed it. So. That's NC okay. State. Yeah, you got it still, back. That's the most important thing. Yeah, still good starting field position. Um, you know, Coach JT will be the first one to say punting is winning, but... Um, All right, see what NC State has up their sleeves this time. Last time it was a 61-yard bomb. Here's the handoff to Allen. Runs right by the defender. Spins, tries to spin, gets grabbed and thrown down. Still picks up five. Be second down and five. Got to make sure they keep him going in this game to keep those uh, keep the secondary honest, right? Yeah, yeah five yards is a good first down. That was a nice run by Allen. Sash saved an even bigger run. There's a handoff to Allen again. Big hole up the middle. Avoids one defender. Bounces off another. 10-yard gain. Another first down. It's 15 on two carries. Can't go away from that too quick. Could have drove the Kia through that one, boys. <laughs> well, a couple of good solid runs for Michael Allen. Morris. Quick drop throws. Curl route to Rooks again. Another first down. See those guys playing off. Just take those, take that first down throw every time, as long as they don't butterfinger it. You know, like uh, I was DBs and my uh, wide receivers were doing the other day. Happens. It's Morris, quick drop, great protection down the middle of the pocket. Banana jumps up, catches it at the six. Dragged down at the four, 43-yard bomb, right down the numbers, between the numbers and the hash. And uh, Wolfpacker in the uh, red zone that quick. Yeah, pocket band. I just had position that whole route, jumped up, high-pointed it right in front of him. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're all excited to see that. <laughs> Triangle worked. I love jump balls. Staying to that four wide receiver set. Defense line shifting, Morris making adjustments. Quick drop, throws in the flat. Allen's got it, and he walks in for a touchdown. We're extra point away from a tie game. Just like that, NC State rebounds after being down 14 nothing. You guys said it was going to be a high-scoring game. Mm -hmm. I took the over. That was a nice play. Defense gets sucked in by all the wide receivers. Allen throws <coughs> out wide open, hits him, just walks in. Yeah, it's a great hold on the extra point as well. It was General Boner. <laughs> right, the original Joe's kicks went through the uprights, I believe. <laughs> so I was going to start at the 25. Probably their worst starting position all day, right? Possibly, Can't remember yeah. The kick return, Dwight. No, yeah, they start, it was a touchback earlier, so their second straight drive. Never mind. All right, Kenning to the right, Stanzi drops, looks, throws, and Mike Jones picks it off. Who? Mike Jones. Mike Jones. <laughs> Down to the 36. Stepped right in front. Great user pick. So NC State's not only weathered the storm, they actually just took the turnover lead. Or took the, uh, the momentum lead, I should say. Kind of reminds me of another game we just saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except it ended with Iowa getting all the momentum at the end. So, yeah. Got to play four quarters. Here's Morris dropping, rolling, looking, pressure behind him, steps up, gets to the edge, 35 30, inside the 30, down around the 26 or 7 yard line. Mark it at 26, be second and one. Yeah, at the end of that, he tiptoed that sideline and probably got three or four more extra. Nice little run by Morris.
Spreading out again, four wide. It's time to hand off to Allen, looking for a lane. Nothing there. He's going to lose a yard and be third down and one. I just too many Hawkeyes for that blocker to account for. Tua just threw a 100-plus yard pick six. Sheesh. Yeah, they were inside the five, and he threw it right to three guys, and one of them took it to the house. All right, shotgun again with Morris. Game clock down around 36 seconds now, winding down this quarter. Here's the handoff. Allen up the middle, trying to push through the hole, make his own hole. Gets five yards, first down, move the chains. 29 seconds left in this high-scoring first quarter. Yeah, I could have swore pre-snap there. I heard MJ Morris shout banana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morris drops, looking, throws down the right sideline, and Dingling oh. catches it for a touchdown. Moss the DB. Triangle didn't work again. Yeah, you win some, you like lose some. Mm -hmm. Eight rebounds with three straight scores, and now they're up. We'll see uh, Dingling high point this ball on this replay. Nice catch. And he threw it back shoulder. He just stopped, jumped, caught it. DB kept running up further into the uh, end zone. Safety couldn't come over and help him. And just like that, Wolfpacker right on top. And kicks that kickoff through the uprights again. So Iowa's going to start the third straight drive from their own 25. And they've struggled on offense when they haven't started their drives in NC State territory. So they got to figure something out. It's probably be the last play of the first quarter. Stanzi, quick drop, throws up the seam, and he overthrows a guy. Had him open. There was two guys closing in on him, so I don't think he would have got more after the catch, but airmailed that one. Yeah, you still hate to see it. Anytime they're open and you miss them by that much. <laughs> Breaks OC's yes. heart. You make the right call and, and the uh, game decides, nope, you're not gonna you're not gonna complete this pass. There we go. Can't forget Stans, he's still a young quarterback. Dropping pressure, dumps it over the middle, he missed another guy. Wow. Missed his dump off guy. Pressure finally got through at the end up the middle. He's young, he's young, he's young, he's young. <laughs> What's the mad one that we're just throwing the out pressure? heads have been saying all week, you know, he doesn't belong at number three in the Heisman race. Is he going to show that on this drive? All right, they split out with five wide. Now he's rolling out to his right. Foreign territory because he always goes to the left. And, oh, Lane the Wood knocked it down. It was an easy pick at midfield. Kind of short-armed that one across, halfway across the field. And uh, another fourth down on a punt. You got to love his ball recognition and the way he jumped on it, even though he dropped it. It seems like the Wolfpack defense had something figured out on this series. All right. Inside the 30, he's going to take it at the 26. The wood up the sideline, spins, and gets dragged down right around the 36-yard line. 37, I guess I'll call it. I'm going to take over again. Scored three straight times. Allen's been effective on the ground. They're not afraid to take deep shots. He has, and the line's been blocking really well. Well, the offense heads a new direction now. First series in the second quarter. This is possibly the first time they haven't had four receivers on the field. Now they shift back over to the right. Offset, tight end, and fullback on the right. Morris takes his shot down the left side, catches it one-handed at the 33, falls forward down to the 24. What a catch. Wow. I mean, most impressive. He coached it a lot of work pre-snap there. He barely got it off. It was less than a second on the play clock. Nice to see Porter Rook still eating week after week. Just a casual one-hander. Chunk gain. Back to that same formation. Kyle Cameron Penis to the right. Morris drops. Curl at the 13. Gets dropped. 
And they're going to say he came back after the catch. They're only going to give him nine on the play. Luckily, that wasn't third or fourth down, huh? Yeah. Yeah, was good catch. <laughs> um, bad step after the catch. Gave up the first down, but that's all right. The clock moves a little bit. Here's that handoff. Allen gets a great block by the fullback and gets tripped from behind there. Saves a touchdown. Still gets the first down to be uh, first and 10 from the 12. That hawk flew out of nowhere to save that touchdown. I thought that was six, guys. And when he got that block by the fullback, it's like he's just going to go angle to the edge, right to the pylon, right? And he got that was, the, a, uh, that was a great block, Vaughn. Superman well, dive. We've seen this hawk defense fly around all year, but they might be a little stunned right now. Morris, fake handoff, rolling out, pressure, tries to go up the middle, falls forward, he's going to pick up. No, it says he lost a yard on the play. I guess he was so far behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Felt like he got one or two on the run. <clears throat> well, they're waking up, maybe. All right, second 11. Still can get that first down just outside the one. Good tight trips to the right. MJ drops, looking. Looking, throws right Ooh. at the, the hash, and it's an easy touchdown. Mm -hmm. Cockhammer grabs it at the one, just kind of walks in. He almost just put it on his back hip. That was a nice throw. And after giving up a touchdown, then a pick, and another touchdown. Or sorry, a pick, touchdown, then another touchdown. NC State's responded to four straight drives, putting him in the end zone. I was a little flustered. They got to get their stuff together because um, their defense has had no answer so far outside of that yeah, first drive. The crowd is getting loud. Yeah, 28 unanswered will do that. I thought it was because it's a beautiful, clear, sunny day. <laughs> well, there's that. Man in motion. Drop, screen pass, caught. To the outside, cuts it back, and is going to be shy of the first down. Nine yards for Kinnick. Bring up a second down and one. Yeah, you Don't see be Kinnick can be very the dangerous there. Yeah, if you don't wrap him up, man, he gets in the open field and starts doing jukes and spins, and you're in trouble. Yeah, he's not, like, overly flashy. He's just calm, cool, and produces. He just <clears throat> gets, gets yards. He just he covers ground and mm -hmm. makes good cuts, it looks like. Pressure from the left, throws, caught, and no, he dropped it. Didn't hang on. Dallas Clark had enough for a first down. I'll bring up a third and one. Yeah, they brought heat off the slot there. Did you see that? Yeah, that's a tough catch. He got hit right when it got there, and pretty hard, might I say. All right, go three wide, tight end to the right, Kinnick to the right. Stands, he drops, pressure in his face, and rolls out of it. And he gets tripped and sacked at the 18-yard line. Great diving sack. Something I could not do the other night. Good on huge, you, huge sack for Big Chubb there on third and one to make this fourth and 18. Wow, this crowd is just going nuts. I don't think I've ever seen JT punt three times in a row. Whatever NC State did watching film has been uh, huge. <laughs> Massive sack. We've seen Stanzi evade all types of defenders and here's a long punt that's going to bounce and it is going to die inside the five down to the two yard line there's some typical iowa shit for you yeah yeah i was worried about a fake uh, the other night so i let him go and he booted all the way into the end zone because this game thinks the field's made out of rubber <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, that could have just been, that sack could have just been JTB and Crafty, you know, he rolled out <laughs> on that line. Maybe he knew his punter's maximum distance. He might have just yeah. given up on that. Just <laughs> Did that so, as planned. Just so he could show <laughs> off. Yeah. Completely off. flips the field, too. Play clock down to four. Morris drops. Pressure. And he gets rid of it. And it's batted down. Almost had a safety for a sack. Almost had a pick six. A lot of almost. Is Edward James here? 
a great punt creates a lot of opportunities for the defense, and we saw a couple of them on display there. Um, unable to capitalize was was Iowa this time, but still backed up for the for Wolfpack. All right, see what NC State wants to do here. Second and ten from there too. Iowa comes out with five D linemen looking for the run, shifting to the right, strong side. Wolfpack shifts, sends the uh, splits the receivers this time. Play clock down to four. Two, one. Morris drops, throws, curl, rooks, got it at. 20 at the 15 breaks a tackle up the sideline 30 35 out to the 41 yard line huge Sheesh. gain huge gain <clears throat> get off their own goal line almost to midfield just like that two plays yeah i don't feel like rooks is always the number one receiver when you go out and you're drawn up the plays but i, I think just by process of being the guy that's open he and making the plays. He's looking like a number one today. Allen gets dragged down. Lost the three on the play. He's going to be second and 13. Couldn't get to the edge. All right. NC so State second up. down. Yeah. Game clock's down to 318. It's been a fast quarter. Now they shift into the offset eye. Morris drops, rolls right, looking upfield. It's going to just keep it up the sideline to midfield and steps out of bounds at the 47, gets the first down. It's one of those where you send them deep and run off the coverage so you can run and get the first down. <coughs> Take what the Good defense job. gives you. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the four receiver set. Allen's on the left this time. Handoff, straight up the middle. Linebacker gets penetration, gets in there and drags him down. Only gains one on the play. Good swarm by the defense there. Yeah, they can be stingy. They've, they've got some players on this defense. Morris drops, looks, steps up, and is going to get wrapped up and dropped at the 50. It's going to be third and 11. Looks like he had nobody open, and when he stepped up, the, the defensive line collapsed on him. <clears throat> yeah, another good swarm. I'm not sure who got credited for that sack. Was Jewel was there. I think Llewellyn was there. All right, closing it's in on two. sack. <laughs> yep, definitely. Under two minutes now left, third and 11. They converted a long third down earlier. Pressing Rooks over there on the left. Morris drops, looks, pressure on his right, in his face, and down he goes. Lost seven on the sack. Huge pass rush by Iowa. Bails him out. They're going to get the ball back before halftime. Yeah, the Iowa defense did exactly what they needed to do there right before half. All right, Trace Leches with the punt here. See if he can get this out of bounds. Not let Dwight return anything. Nope. This one's going to bounce inside the 10 and go Super Bowl bounce into the end zone. So I was going to start on a familiar place, 25 yard line, 142 left, all three. No, I'm sorry, two timeouts. I had to call one last drive. Yeah, it's the 20 yard line on punts because the rules are yeah, yeah, yeah. not consistent for <laughs> touchbacks anymore. So, no big deal. Yep. <laughs> Here's the fake jet trying to get to the outside and drag down only a gain of three. The guy you faked it to got in front of him and slowed him down and let the defense catch up. Second time he's gotten his way. The inconsistent rules in this game for sure. Thank you for correcting me because. It was just a uh, frame was on autopilot there. Oh, they're going to bring it out to 25. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Stands, he drops, looks. Only two men rushing. He's got a man over the middle at the 40, and he's going to get dropped right after that. Big first down. They go no huddle. 
<clears throat> Lay in the wood. Lay the wood there. All right, got him spread out. Four wide receivers. Kinnick in motion out of the backfield. Throws and a diving catch. He doesn't stay on his feet, so he doesn't get extra yards. Four-yard gain. Going to have to go no huddle again. I hate that animation. And the clock. Yeah, he was wide open. He he, he might still be running. And a quick out at midfield. Gets the first down up the field to the 47-yard line. Back to the no huddle again. Still has two timeouts. 51 seconds left here in the first half. Trying to stop it. Where does field goal range begin? I think it's begun. Probably at the 40. Stanzi drops. Throws it out in the flat to Kinnick. Does a shimmy shake and gets blasted down. Picks up five yards. Be second and five. The game clock's down to 40 seconds and counting. Mike Jones with the big hit there. Mike who? Mm-hmm. There goes Kinnick out of the backfield motion. Stops, throws. First down catch up the field. Can see who that was, and now they're going no huddle, so I won't know who it is because I can't see his name. Down to 27 seconds. Stop the clock with the first down. Hanging on to those timeouts. Stands, he drops way back to the 40. Rolls hard to his right, steps up. Tries to get outside, runs into his own player, fumbles the ball, and luckily his own player was there to pick it up, and now he's down and injured. Wow, what a what play. A, yeah, a lot of things happened there, Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> Scramble, bubble, recovery, injury. Yikes. I'm glad, they, really certain happening. I'm glad they huddled up so we could breathe. <laughs> I was getting ready for JT to throw that chain and fumble the ball away. My God. <laughs> All right, they bring him out. Three receivers this time. Dallas Clark's in the game on the right side. Stancy drops, looking, looking, rolling hard to his left. The JT special. He's going to walk <laughs> it into the end zone for a touchdown. I'm here for it. Suck everybody to the right. Spin left and walk it in. Seen that before. Hey, stem the tide, man. He gave up 28 straights. So now he gets it back down to a one-score game. The only problem is there's 12 seconds left, so <laughs> you only need 10. And George has all four. Or all, four all four. I'm giving next ones. All three timeouts. I had a coach ask me if she could have an extra timeout for 20 bucks this year. Mm, she make it 100, and we'll talk. Yeah. Cash right. up front. Yeah. Kickoff goes out of bounds, so they're going to start at their 25 correctly this time. And uh, he's got the throw power, and he's got the receivers to uh, hit this deep. He might be able to get it in field goal range. You never know. Extra time out for 20 bucks. You wouldn't even know what to say if you got it. <laughs> I just laughed. I knew. I know her really well, so it was mm -hmm. fun. There's a curl route to Dingling, and he's going to take it up the field and get out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. Are they going to mark him out of bounds? Are they going to call him down? We'll find out once he gets his play called. Looks like it stopped with seven seconds. So we got – nope, mm. it's running. Got to call that timeout. Tragic. Game, I don't Game know mechanics are terrible. He got met and pushed out of bounds, and it called him down mm -hmm. inbounds. That's terrible. It cost him an extra play because seven seconds he can run two plays. This fucking game. All right, spread them out. Four receivers. Morris drops. Look. Great pocket. Throws it deep down the middle to Gray. He goes up, and it's batted down. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Wow. Very exciting. A lot of points. A lot of back and forth. Three punts. Four punts. <laughs> we had 49 points and four points. Punts in the half. That tells you what it's been like. Yeah, that was a, a wild first half. So I'm excited that. to see these stats. Jorge's quarterback has over 200 yards passing already. Did we get an update on that injured Hawkeye yet? 282 yards passing already. Neither team's run the ball well. Already seen three turnovers. Third downs are tough. One for six combined. JT and I were struggling both on third down as well the other night, so 
got to avoid those third downs because usually it's going to be third and long and not third and short. Respond to revamp here. You got to battle to get to those third and shorts. Anthony Richardson got slammed on his throwing shoulder on a run play. Looked like it was, he was dead. <clears throat> I believe Iowa will receive <clears throat> start the second half. Uh -huh. So that. Seven point lead is all the more important going into half if you're the Wolfpack. All right, coaches are done with all their adjustments. Ready to start this second half. Looks like a pretty strong win, doesn't it? Don't count those flags because we've seen it. <laughs> two. Seen them blowing like a hurricane, and it was three miles an hour. It's two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dos kicks it through the uprights. They had a game like that. We couldn't figure out what the wind is like. It doesn't matter. Ignore those flags. They're terrible. Yeah, so bad. It's disinformation. We have propaganda. That's not right. They got fans blowing on them up there. All right, now Iowa comes out. Stands the under center. That offset eye. Fullback goes in motion to the right. Hand off to Kinnick, looking to get to the edge. Oh, good block on Jones. And he falls forward for eight more yards. He's second in inches from there. Looked like Jones was going to get to him, and somebody picked him off at the last minute. Yeah, very nice run by Kinnick. Does a good job to wiggle his way off of potential tacklers and gain extra yards after initial contact. <laughs> Stands you back under center. Quick drop. Great protection. Now he's got pressure in his face all the way back to the 20. Missed sack attempt. Here comes Big Wood, and he's going to miss as well as he gets the first down and steps out around the 40. I know how he feels. Yeah, it didn't <laughs> look like a sack attempt so much as it looked like a high five attempt. And, you know, extra girthy is just left hanging. He's very disappointed. Hey, if he throws that ball, though, extra girthy's knocking it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. He might have been just screaming, hey, he's trying to scare him. All right, back under center. Handoff straight up the middle. Nice hole. Gets through to the secondary. One guy to beat. Driver, and he tries to stay in front of him, and he goes around him, and he's going to go to the house. Tried to get in front and slow him down so the pursuers could get him, and he just kind of allayed him at the end. And uh, extra point away from a tie game, guys. Back and forth, back and forth. First one to yeah, We've seen Kinnick be very elusive. And he just gets away this time. Good job. Good job very, utilizing very, his blockers. Exactly. I was going to say, very patient, not trying to break to the outside. And we get another touchback on the kickoff. Surprise. Man, I struggle you a little bit. certainly have a ball game. All right, NC State, four wide again. Allen with the handoff, I'm sorry, takes the handoff right up the middle, pushes forward, picks up five on the play. He's second and five. Yeah, good game on first down. Here's the handoff again. Allen wiggles through, finds a hole, gets the first down. Takes up about 10 on the play. Now they're being patient. I mean, that's, that's the nice thing about gaining five yards on first down is I don't know if the defense really knows what to do on second down. You know, mm -hmm. you could see another run or you could be taking the top off. So There's a curl again at midfield and he dropped it. 
hit him right when he uh, hmm. got his hands on there. I think JT wanted to pick. I think he's just delighted that he covered it. <laughs> should be, should be, be happy that he didn't catch the ball. First down. Mm -hmm. Right. NC State's got stick them instead of butter on their hands today. So. Mm -hmm. No corn. Here's the handoff to Allen. Fallon get a hold on the backside. Full, falls forward. Picks up six again. He's been running up the middle again. Five, six yards every single time. It's a short third and four. You got every play at your disposal. Plus, you got to worry about MJ taking off as well. Nice cut back there by Allen on that run to extend it. Yeah, it makes this third manageable, which is critical. It's like they're pressing on both outsides. More center center. He doesn't do that very often. Play clock down to seven. Down to three, two, and they call a timeout. Ooh, we'll see how, how that may come back to haunt him later in the game. Yeah, the gamesmanship is certainly in effect. All right, third and four. Spread them out again, four wide, this time in the shotgun. <clears throat> Now they shift offset eye. Play clock down to six. Quick drop by Morris. Throws up the side. Got it at the inside the 40. One guy to beat, and he grabs him, and they finally slowed him down to get gang tackle around the 12-yard line. Looked like he might have been able to go to the house. I just don't think he had the wheels to it. Yeah, lost the uh, top end foot race, but won the initial foot race to get open. Way to shed that press coverage. And it was what, Anthony Smith on that play? Here's a handoff. Allen up the middle looking for some room. Gets stopped. Still falls forward. It's going to be third. I'm sorry, second down and seven. Picked up three. Good old NWO fall forward at the end. Yeah, he shrugged off that initial tackler. I think that's what helped him fall forward. That and a well-balanced breakfast. <laughs> now they shift to the offset eye. Morse goes under center. Quick drop. Looking, throwing in the flat. Did he stay in bounds? Pocket banana catches. It gets drilled. They're going to give him a first and goal. So he did stay in bounds. <laughs> He did. I don't see any banana peels on the field. That was close, so he <laughs> tiptoed that. I saw him go out there, and I was like, hmm. As soon as he threw it to him, I was like, that's going to be a flag. But no, they said he stayed in. Now they come out in wild. I'm sorry, not wildcat, in a full house. And Allen looking to go up the middle, and Iowa just <laughs> pushed through the middle and collapsed everything. Be second and goal from the four. Yeah, caved that whole thing in. Back to the full house. We got Cockhammer and Penis back there with Allen. Penis goes in motion. Handoff, looking to get that block up the middle. Pushes and gets inside the two and no more. Be third and goal from there. I got some push, just not enough push. Iowa stacks that D-line again, playing to the uh, power side. It's my dog's going nuts upstairs. Morris quick drop, throws. Oh, and it batted down. Did he pick that off in the end zone? No, it's going to be fourth and goal. I think he could have took off and got that right up the middle. And they're going to go no huddle. Balls are out. The dogs know. I mean, the wolf in them is just going crazy. They, uh -huh. they sniff this end zone like it's painted with blood. Yeah, 
hell, my dog's going nuts too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Somebody is outside. I can't see it. Like clock down to seven. Down to four. Morris drops, flings it in the flat. And Mo Penis walks it in for a touchdown. Sucking in the middle, threw it to the outside. That's his fifth TD pass of the game, and uh, NC State's back up by seven as soon as they kick this extra point. Yeah, nice play, good execution. That's a big touchdown. Way to finish that drive off. <coughs> big cojones on fourth down. All right, we'll see if this ball gets through the end zone as well. Probably is. Yep, max power. That's, that's going to be a touchback. All right. Iowa's turn to respond. 218 left in the third quarter, so that's 918 left in this game. Slowing his score slowed down a little bit in the uh, second half. This guy's been a little more methodical on their drives. Yeah, and the defenses are getting a little bit more comfortable as well. Oh, nice pass. Right up the numbers to the right. Pulls wow. over a secondary down to the 35-yard line. Just totally abused that DB. Dallas Clark with a huge gain on first down. Hey, he's wide open. Then he just <laughs> snow plows that kid. Yeah, he had two guys. He had a deep guy in front of him dragging the DB with him. So he was just kind of riding along behind, caught that, and just rode it up the sideline. Yeah, poor DB didn't stand a chance. <laughs> and roadblock, man. <laughs> Speed bump. Yeah, yeah, that's all he was. Orange cone. The pothole. Little bitch. <laughs> He's got lit up. Here's a handoff. Kinnick trying to get to the edge, and he gets swarmed over and dropped for only a two-yard gain. Yeah, the Wolves, they were ready for that one. They had good penetration. The blocking wasn't there. It was just a recipe for disaster for the Hawkeyes. going to say it might be whoever has the ball last is going to win this game, but the way these guys march up and down the field, it could be each team with the ball three more times. Now they go power eye. Yeah, these guys drop, looking, drifting left, throws, man at the first down marker, and holds on, falls forward, picks up an extra four or five on that play. These guys have been really quick with their play calls, seems like. That helps to move this game fast. Tim Dwight with a nice catch, nice fall forward. Stansy had plenty of time. He just moved to his left to get a better throwing angle. Here's the handoff. Trying to get to the edge. Two guys come in and Wood lays the wood on him. Split his legs on the tackle. It's going to be second down and four. I guess <coughs> split his wood. Jesus, what a hit. <laughs> Now, you know it's a good hit when they go into the splits after you hit them. Mm -hmm. All right, second and four, just outside the 15-yard line. Like, game clock's under 50 seconds left here in the third. Stands, he drops, pressure in his face, rolls hard to his right this time, trying to get to the edge, throws, caught inside the 10, and steps out of bounds for a first down. Tim Dwight, nice catch, and way to find an open spot for his QB to throw it to. I think he wanted more, but his speed and his momentum took him out of bounds there, but you'll take that first down regardless, obviously. <clears throat> Big formation here. And Kinnick ran into his quarterback. I don't know if he was supposed to do a fake or take the handoff, whatever it is. He got tackled from behind. They're trying to tackle themselves. <laughs> that might be the third time now Kinnick's done that tonight. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like, no, nobody's running the ball but me. <laughs> All right, and this game clock's down, and that's going to be the last play of the third quarter as we're going to go to the fourth, get those fours up, guys. What a game. Yeah, this has been fun. It's been wild. There's been a lot of crap going on. <laughs> I 
All right, second and goal in the pistol. Stanzi right. drops, throws, caught, runs backwards, gets hit at the 10, shrugs that off, tries to cut inside, and gets knocked out of bounds at the 2. It's going to bring third and goal. Of course, who comes over to save the day but lay in the wood? I thought Dwight was going to score. Oh, Hawkeyes keep inching closer here. Likely four down territory. Here's the fullback handoff straight up the middle in for the touchdown. No necesito. Nice to see the fullback get some love. Hey, Harvey Dent got some last time too. I remember. Extra points good. Got our third tie game. Well, if you don't count 0 0, our third tied game. Tie of the game. I can't speak today. We'll see how fast NC State wants to go if they want to choose some clock or just score fast. Just take what they give you, I guess. Yeah, if you score fast, then you figure Iowa's got the ball. Maybe you'll get it back one more time. If you take a lot of time off the clock, then basically Iowa's going to get the last shot at it. So either way, you got to get in the end zone on this drive, regardless of how much time goes off. This offset eye again. Morris drops, throws, caught at the marker. First down. Good old curls for the first down. Exactly what you said, Jimmy. Take what they give, and they want to give you that. Take it all day long. Yeah, exactly. Brooks having himself a nice day too. Yeah. Now they flip the formation to the left. This time you're gonna hand it off. Allen looking to get outside, gets met and picked up two on the play. Be a second down and eight. Yeah. Kind of swarmed in that time. Yeah, a lot of Hawkeyes running downhill on that play. Here we go. Allen looking to get to the edge. Avoids one tackler. Gets into the secondary. Gets dropped. It's going to be third down and two. Iowa guy was zooming into the backfield and ran right by the runner. Yeah. Coach JT yelling at his DC on that one. Just because it's third and two doesn't mean they're going to run the ball here. Whatever they line up in doesn't mean that's the play they're going to run. Morris drops. Throws in a triple coverage and is picked off to the 50. Inside the 45, stays on his feet. Inside the 40 to the 39. Ill-timed throw in a triple coverage. <clears throat> a really nice return on that interception. Yeah, you hate to see Morris make a mistake like that there. Now Iowa can take all the time off the clock they want. NC State only has two timeouts because they had to burn that one earlier on third and four. Kinnick tries to get outside and spin and gets blown up. No gain on the play. Yeah, not much doing out there for Nile. Yeah, Wolfpack defense responding on first down. Slot man goes in motion, comes back. Play clock down to four. Stanzi, snap, pressure in his face, rolls right, looking, stops, back over the middle, wide open, down to the 15, 10, and stopped at the six-yard line. Tim Dwight, man, using that speed to break away from the DB and hit that open spot in the zone. He's been around all day today. <clears throat> and he goes in motion, drops back, throws it out in the flat, and gets blasted by the magic stick. 
Looked like they were going to try a screen pass, and he tried to fool them with a little toss in the flat, and nothing, nothing doing there. Good open field tackle by Magic Stick. All right, now they're going to come out five wide. That's Kinnick in the slot to the left. Stands, he drops, looks, rolls straight up the middle, and he's going to get into the end zone and give Iowa the lead back again for the first time since the first quarter. What a game, boys. I got goosebumps. Yeah, Herky's there doing front flips. So now NC State's got to uh, go down the field and get a touchdown and burn as much time off this clock as they can since Iowa still has three timeouts. They literally need a four-minute drive and a touchdown. <coughs> yeah, with stoppages. Mm-hmm. comes Allen. It's easy, right? Ash tries to get the outside. High tackle drags him down to 15. I think the biggest question is, is what two-point conversion play are they going to run? Mm-hmm. Well, I saw a good one in Arizona had a good one. Was just yeah. Have the quarterback drop back about 25 yards. Might have had a single, single route out there. There goes Morris. Rolling up the sideline, getting a block. And, oh, looked like he was going to try and hurdle the defender. Gets blasted in the middle. Still gets a first down and holds on to the ball. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I think yeah, he might have been able to. He just jumped a little early, or a little late. <clears throat> it looked like a nice spot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I would have been really upset if they would have marked that inches to go. All right, first and 10. At their own 26 and a half, 27. Morris drops, throws, caught by Smith this time. He's going to move the chains again. They kill him with those curl routes on both sides of the field all day. Move back game. nibbling away. Down to th right around three and a half minutes left in the game. Morris drops, looks, steps up, tries to avoid the sack and mm. fall forward. Only it's still lost the three on the play. Late decision to try and get away from that pressure and just couldn't do it. He had a lot of time and I thought he was going to get out of there. I think he might have bumped his own lineman that slowed him down. He had a lot of green grass in front of him too. He really did. All right, second and 13. They got to try and get half this back here, not try and get it all back, make an easy third down. Morris drops, stands tall, looks, flings it out in the flat. Allen's got it to the 40 and pushed out the 43. Bring up a third down and four. Much more manageable. But you yeah. Can run it if they want to. Shout out that wide receiver for holding those two guys off as best he could so Allen could get as many yards as he could. Sometimes when you're down and it's late, you start thinking about, I got to get everything back, and then you start throwing picks and incomplete passes, and it's third and 18, and... <laughs> Morris drops, steps up, tries to get away from the rush, falls forward. It's going to be fourth and one. He got a nice animation there. Could have been worse. Yeah, could have fumbled. Looked like he might. Manageable fourth down here. Game clock's down to two and a half, under two and a half left. Yeah, big play nonetheless. Shift back into the offset eye. Morris drops, throws, caught by Smith, gets the first down yardage and more. Ballsy. I love it. Saw the box was full, audibled out of it to a curl. Keeps the drive alive. That's what they needed. Still 42 yards away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they still have a long way to go, and there's two minutes left, so he's using the clock well, too. Morse 
Rolls to his right hard right away up the sideline and hurdles past one guy and gets pushed out of bounds right around the 25-yard line. Hmm. Like a really nice play that hurdles seemed to freeze a couple of Iowa defenders and get him a couple extra yards. And they don't rule him out of bounds. They say they're going to call him inbounds on the tackle. So the game clock's rolling down at 147 now. That hurdle froze my heart for a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's in bounds or out of bounds in this game. No, not at all. Here's Allen trying to get outside. Great block. Jukes back to the outside. Going to get tackled at the 16. Be second and one, which is exactly what they want. They want that clock to keep rolling. See when Iowa decides they want to call a timeout. See another nice run by Mr. Allen having himself a pretty good day. All right, second and one from the 16. Game clock down to 110. Handoff. Penis up the middle. Pushes through, gets the first down right around the 12 or 11 yard line. I don't know if you noticed, but that was a really good read by Penis. If he follows that play, it's probably a loss of two. He cuts it back up the middle instead of the stretch, gets the first down. Good eye there. Gotta love when the penis hits it up the middle. <laughs> All right. Game clock down to 55 and counting. First and goal from the 10. No. I'm sorry. Take that back. It's first and 10 from the 12. Can't count today. More under center. Play clock down to 8. Down to 4. 3, 2, 1. Snaps it. Quick drop. Rolls up, pressure from behind, gets dragged down, picks up four on the play, though. Decided to uh, take off a little quicker this time and got positive yards. And now we're down to 25 seconds left in the game. NC State with two timeouts, trying to huddle up quick. Down to 19 seconds. Hand off to Allen, looking to get to the edge. Good block, steps inside. He's going to be down inside the one. He's first and goal. From the one, 12 seconds left. They're going no huddle. Thought he, leaned, <coughs> thought he leaned across on that one. All right, everybody set. Game clock starts. 10, 9, 8, 7. Hand off to Allen, and he doesn't get in. He's got to call timeout. He does. There's four seconds left. Last play, regulation, guys. Bleeding every second up. Maybe still, still got one time, time out. out. Yeah, there's <laughs> could be two plays. Nobody <clears throat> runs here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Game in a line. Spreading them out. Shift back into the offset eye. Here's the handoff, and he's going to get met and dropped, and they call timeout with two seconds left. This will be the last play of regulation. Wow. My palms are sweating. I'm not even playing. <laughs> Good defense. Uh, I like the play call. <coughs> Quick enough, they get, they're going to get another play off here. And then when he scores, does he go for two? Wow. Go to, and go to OT. You know, George. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go to overtime. <laughs> All right. Full house backfield. Play clock down to seven. Down to five. Three. Morris drops, throws. Mo wow. Penis with another touchdown. Quick throw. Wow. Now the decision <laughs> we all know what's going to happen here. Oh, my God. Who's having Some fun? little angle there, by yeah, Mo Penis. Yeah. Hey, uh, These are way more exciting than the NFL games, guys. 
<laughs> that penis took a weird angle. It looks like he's lining up for the field goal. A little bent to the left, right? <laughs> Lou, you're funny. <laughs> Here we right, go. Offset eye again. Play clock down to six. Five, four, three, two, one. Just gets it off. Morris rolls hard to his right, looking, dumps it to Allen, and he's not going to get in. He's short. JT holds him at the very end and gets a 42 41 victory. Wow. That was an NWO classic. What a game. Down 14 what? nothing. Goes up 28 20, 28 14. They get it back to a 35 35 tie. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a game. Great defense. Great secondary flow by, by the Hawkeyes there. Wow. Amazing. <clears throat> I need a cigarette. Yeah. Here's the replay. Rolls hard. <laughs> Looks like he has them open. But the defender breaks off the guy going for the Texas route, who was open for the for the two pointer there. If he makes that same throw that he did for the touchdown, he gets the two pointer. Watch right here. The defender leaves Mo open. Left the penis. All right, let's get JT in here. Hold up. How sweaty are your palms? <laughs> sweaty. Stressful fucking game. <laughs> number That's two uh, ESPN Classic. I'm pretty sure the number one was when he went for two and beat me two seasons ago or three seasons ago. <laughs> that was crazy. You guys recovered um, running the ball real well, both of you, second half, because neither one of you was running worth the crap in the first half, so they kind of slowed down the pace of the game. But... Uh, what what about what about the defense? Because I know you got burned a few times, and guys should have had picks and weren't wrapping up tackles, and they made that game a lot harder than it was. Yeah, we have a we have a really young secondary. Uh, we're starting trying to get them caught up. This is the earliest game I think they've ever played. Uh, we usually play at you know eight nine o'clock, and we decided to kick off at one today. And I don't think they were all awake. Uh, you know how them kids are they uh, they like to sleep in, dark specta style. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this over to Jimmy and Lou. I'm sure they got questions for you. What'd you like? What did you? What didn't you like? Couldn't stop a curl route. Didn't matter if we were in zone. I adjusted the depth to be shorter so we could get beat over the top, and they were still standing five yards behind the wide receiver. Didn't um, you pick two of them off? Not curls. It was a at least one. I think I think the one was an out route, if I remember right. Okay. I think it was an out route, but that was – they were in zone, and there was four dudes standing on the sideline with that one wide receiver. I, We got some film to work on. There's a lot to fix on the defense. What would you like? What would you do well? Um, I like our running attack this season. I mean, I kind of I kind of got away from it because he was, he was going cover one and loading the box, so I kind of had to get away from the, the run and – um, finally got him to kind of respect our pass game because Stansy was just, after the first two touchdowns, Stansy just fell apart. Um, so he kind of didn't have to respect the run at all, or the pass at all. So we had to throw a couple short ones, get him going again, and start hitting him over the top to open up the box, and then we could start running again. And Niall Kinnick might be the best running back I've ever had. Bold statement. Bold statement. Where was Definitely Vines at? Chain. Where was Vines at today? Vines is gone, along with gone. every other wide receiver on the team last year. That's right. That's right. It's the Bostic show. Bostic, Wick, and Tim Dwight. Yeah, Tim Dwight had a good day. That had to make your heart happy. Yeah. yeah. All the all the Hawkeye fans would be real happy about that. Tim Dwight and Dallas Clark going off. That's all I got. You got anything, Lou? Is that chain heavy? I think we covered this three days ago. <laughs> no, it's plastic. I think George's is plastic. heavier. <laughs> That's fair. You you uh, go to Oklahoma State next week? Uh, are you excited about that? No. 
I hate this schedule. I hate whoever put this schedule together. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Any other grievances you want to share while we got time? <laughs> yeah, um, I'd like to share. No, I'm kidding. Thanks. That's it was a good game. Great call. Well, Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Fairly festivus. Hmm. Not great good game, George. Thanks, JC. Bring let's, George in next. Let's bring in the non-chicken neck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, I should be a little bit more chicken. Uh, respect the defense a little bit better. Really failed there. Fell fell on the sword. Killed myself there at the end. That two-point conversion try. I, I wanted to let the time run out on that two-point try and back us up a little bit. I know that sounds weird, but back us up a little bit for a little bit more space because when it's real condensed down in the box, he was doing really good on goal line defense. And I figured I might have a little chance with a little bit more space, kind of run some routes. And then if I get him flowing out in the, in the DB range, maybe I could hit him underneath and then run it into the end zone on something underneath. But uh should have let that time run out and just taken that penalty or just kicked it. So you had uh, – Allen did really well today. You had a lot of a lot of gashes up the middle, five, six, seven, eight, ten yards up the middle. I mean, he only had 68 yards, so it doesn't look like he did, but he had some big runs that got you first downs. You yeah, know. he got nine more carries than he got last week, so I was really happy about that. And even though some of them were absolute stuffs um, on the outside where we couldn't get the edge, there was also some plays where he was making some plays up the middle. Yeah, and it made him respect – the run game so you couldn't just drop back and, and play the pass all day long and then that allowed you to take those shots over the top so um morris looked like there was a couple of times he had a lot of room to run and it was just kind of a late decision to get out of that pocket and then you get sacked for a short sack or nothing so um i don't know what what he's got to do what he got to do with him to uh step that up a little quicker because i think you could have had a lot more runs up the middle with your qb and extended some of your drives yeah, it was really hard once the pocket was really established. Those uh, Iowa defensive linemen did a really good job of shedding blocks when I attempted to run through the pocket. Uh, when I broke out of the pocket immediately, they couldn't really catch up to my speed m more often uh, than not. I, I was able to use the speed from Morris on the outside, which I wasn't able to do the week before. So it's kind of like adjusting to two things. Um, but I'm just happy that he didn't fumble the ball away. Uh, and with only seven incompletions, three of them being picks, two of them being absolute dumbass throws by me, one of them being like, I think the wide receiver is just a freshman, and that's just him not breaking on the route the way that he should and snapping that off quite enough. Um, I don't know. Morris, Morris played well. Uh, just need him to make, make that final uh, play at the end there. I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy and Lou. Thanks, Vaughn. Great call. Thank you. Great game, guys covered a lot of things there what uh what do you think your team could improve on um i mean <clears throat> it, it eliminating explosive plays you know i'm looking at kinnick and like i gotta give it to him he is absolutely hard to bring down he's just so elusive but a 60 yard run we gotta we gotta limit that we had one by the quarterback last week versus miami and then we had one today by niles kinnick and if we could eliminate that then we're doing okay um, I like that my defense was able, besides one Tim Dwight kind of catch, um, I think he had a kind of an average day. You know, I mean, he's an, he's an outstanding player, so he's going to have monster days, and we kept him from having a monster day. Uh, so I think my defense did well enough, but uh, I don't know. I, maybe that pick at the end, Jimmy, where I just, you know, the, uh, the last pick where mm -hmm. I threw the out route. Mm-hmm. You know, Vaughn called it triple coverage. That's tough. Yeah, I call it a pre predetermined throw, just based on pre alignment. You know, not reacting to what happened after the snap. Mm -hmm. I think that was early in the down series. You just can't have those kind of turnovers in the second half after you cr crawl out of the uh, the grave in the first half. So just got to put together a win and make good decisions here at the end. Shouldn't have went for two. I was at home. Should have just uh, played defense. But I feel like JT would have went for two on the next possession, anyways. In overtime, I feel like he would have uh, tried to get me. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. 
Good game. Yeah. yeah, you got the you got a computer game next to work on some of this stuff against Washington. I absolutely need it. I need to figure out this wide receiver situation, man. Um, we got the number one athlete or number one uh, wide receiver in the nation. Um, this guy right here, he had three catches for uh, uh, 50 yards and a touchdown. But uh, the very first pick of the game, I threw it right at him on a curl route, and he did not snap that curl route off the way that Rooks or Smith or one of these other guys do. So uh, I got to figure that out. I got to figure out what is his role, and I got to feed him while also not relying on him to do some of the uh, more sophisticated routes and stuff. So got to figure that out, Jimmy. Yeah, have fun in the lab. Thanks, man. Blue? No, it was a fun one today. Um, I look forward to seeing your team after uh, you come out uh, after after this Washington week. After big changes. Thanks, Lou. You had a great call, man. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you everybody for the uh, this this matinee. We don't have too many of these, and maybe we should have more. But that was it was a good, exciting game. Appreciate you guys for coming by and watching, and a great game, guys. You you made it fun to call the game, Jimmy and Lou. Thank you for the uh, support. Yeah, I had fun. Good job, guys. Yeah, and we do have another game. We have a, a definite game Monday night at nine p.m. nine thirty Central Time between Michigan and Wisconsin. Tentatively, an eight p.m. game between myself and uh, Cincy Bowen. Kind of depends on. When I get done refing that night, if we don't play Monday, we'll play Thursday. So definitely have one game Monday night for you guys. So come back around and uh, check that out. And uh, when you guys are ready to raid out, we can head on out of here. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your football yeah. Sunday. Yeah, take care. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. <laughs>